So in the last project, we hooked up our application with Firebase midway through, but that's because I was easing us into the project. Now, I actually think it's a good idea to set up our database from the beginning and get our app hooked up to it from the offset. So then we don't have to start worrying about it later on when we come to use it. So first of all, let's go to our console. So that's at console.firebase.google.com. You can also get to it by clicking console in the top right when you go to the Firebase website and we'll add a new project. So first of all, the name of this project is gonna be Udemy hyphen ninja hyphen chat. You can call it whatever you want. Choose your country or region and create that project. Okay, so now it's created. We'll go to our control panel and we'll set up our database over here. So click on database first of all, and inside here, we'll choose the Firestore option, which is over here on the left, get started. And we'll start it in test mode again, enable. Okay, cool. And now we have our Firestore instance set up so we can now use it in our project. Now we want to set up a configuration file inside our project where we're initializing our Firebase application on the front end. So to do that, let's go back to our project overview first of all, and click on this option where we want to add Firebase to our web app. So once this loads, we wanna grab this stuff right here again inside this script tag and copy that. Remember, we load in the Firebase library via NPM, not via this script right here. So we'll cross that off and head over to our code editor now and then go into source and create a new folder inside here. And this folder will be called Firebase. And in here, we'll create a new file called init.js to initialize our Firebase project. Now, first of all, we'll paste in this stuff we just copied. Now, we don't yet have Firebase installed. So we'll need to install that down here in the terminal. Now make sure you're inside the ninja chat directory, the root directory of our entire project here. Then we'll say npm install Firebase. And if you have a early version of npm, you'll need to do double dash save to save that to your dependencies. All right, so now that's installed, what we can do is import it up here at the top of the file. So we'll say import Firebase from and it's Firebase. So we needed that because we're using Firebase down here to initialize our app. We're also gonna store this in a constant called Firebase app. You can call this constant whatever you want, by the way. It just makes sense to call it Firebase app to me. And then underneath this, we need to export something. Now we want to export our database, which is gonna use the Firestore method. So first of all, we'll need to import Firestore at the top. Import Firestore from Firebase forward slash Firestore. So now we can come down here and say export default. And we want to export the Firebase app up here, which is our initialized app. Then we want to say dot Firestore because we're exporting our Firestore database reference. Okay. Now we've exported it there. We can use it inside our other components in future lessons. Hey gang, it's Sean here from the future with a quick update because since recording these videos, the Firebase team have updated the Firestore API slightly and they've done that to add a new timestamp class to represent timestamp fields in the database. Now, by doing that, the knock-on effect is that we get a big fat red error in our browser console. Now, you may have seen this, you may have not seen this. It depends on which version of Firebase you have installed in your application. If you have version 4.13 and above, you probably will see this error if we ever try to use the Firestore. If you have something below that, you probably won't. Either way, all we need to do to get rid of that error is add in one line of code inside this initialization file in init.js where we initialize our Firestore application. So where we see const Firebase app equals Firebase.initialize app and then inside config, we wanna come below that then paste in this line of code. We take the Firebase app, then we get the Firestore, dot settings, and inside the settings function, you pass in this one object. Now inside this object, we pass in one property, and that property is timestamp in snapshots, camel case, and we set that equal to true. So by doing this, we're gonna get rid of that big error that we see in the console every time we try to use the Firestore. Now, this code is not gonna have any effect on any of the other code 
that we write inside this project or any of the other projects we do in this series. But it is going to get rid of that error if you are seeing it.